we shot Tangerine on the iPhone 5S, the entire film. Um, we just actually revealed it to the audience after the uh, Q and A last night. Um, it was, uh, you know, it was. Um, it wasn't just the 5S. It was. It was. We had an anamorphic adapter that given to us by this wonderful company called uh, Moondog Labs. It really elevated the look of it. It made it more cinematic. And we used this great app called Filmic Pro. Um, and all of these, all of this combined, really, I think, uh, really gave us a very unique, very different look. And that's what some, that's something that we were trying to achieve. Uh, with this film because you know also the subject matter is, is kind of different and oh yes everything that's in the movie is exactly what goes on in that area with those transgender people a little bit of that and was also the desire to shoot in on the corner of Santa Monica and Highland you may ask why but it's a, it's, a, it's a very chaotic area it's a very it's a place that I've always noticed as a very dramatic colorful area and it, and it just I knew that it would be cinematic so it was just about finding a story that took place there and so we went in and we, 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 we sort of, uh, we, we introduced ourselves to everybody in the area. We worked our way in with, uh, you know, in the research process and that's where we met uh, Maya. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about, um, you know, what's going on with, with transgender people, you know, coming out into the screen because it's, it's, it's unheard of, you know, and I'm, I'm proud of those, those girls and, <laughs> transparent. I'm proud of the shows. I think they're wonderful. And I think that this brings a good add-on to it because it kind of brings you inside some of the lives of transgender people. Uh, Maya was also, she comes from a music background and wanted to show that and so that was something that we worked into the film her performance in the movie in which she's able to just simply perform an entire song from beginning to end to the audience it was something that was just, you know it was just about taking bits and pieces from both real life and then stuff they have heard and just sort of making this uh this crazy roller coaster of a movie with them <laughs>